away from education matters. Now the head of the Ghanaian, a Ghanaian delegation and speaker of the Ghanaian parliament, Alban Bagbin, has called for a review of its prohibition list that bans the importation of specific goods and commodities into the Nigerian market. The speaker, who led a 13-man team on a working visit to the House of Representatives, says he is hopeful that the frosty relationship between Nigerian businessmen and Ghanaian authorities would be resolved soon. The relationship between the Nigerian government and the Ghanaian authorities for some time now have been nothing but frosty in recent times, owing to the lingering crisis between traders of both countries. Leader of the House, Honorable Al Hazan Dobua, ushered in the guests and his entourage, announcing their presence and stating reasons for the visit. Order 21, Rule 8, Sub 1 and 2 of the Standing Orders of the House of Representatives do admit into the chamber the Speaker of the Ghanaian Parliament and his entourage to address the House at this material time. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, I so move. The Ghanaian delegation assured that a seven-man team have been set up by the Ghanaian parliament to find ways of resolving the trade dispute. He says both countries have been long-term partners and friends on many fronts, both locally and internationally. The symbiotic nature of our relationship as a result of this cannot be gainsaid. This explains why within the sub-region, even though we do not share geographical boundaries, we share the same ideals. We see ourselves as one people with a common destiny. The Speaker Femi Baja Biamela says he's elated that the Parliament of Ghana sees the need to mend the relationship between both countries. We have addressed the issue of uh, the prohibition list. We, is a very, we will definitely look at it. Uh, we will be mindful of the need for by natural trade uh, between the two countries and the smoothness of the same, whilst being mindful as well of the liberate protectionist policies of um, both governments. I believe that um, we will strike a very delicate balance and come up with a win-win situation for Nigeria and for Ghana. It is important that we look into this because these are the guardrails uh, guard of parliamentary diplomacy and the guardrails of democracy. A recent amendment to Ghana's Investment Promotion Act led to the shutdown of shops belonging to foreigners in that country and Nigerians were mostly affected, leading to a frost between both countries. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.